So with precision rimfire taking off and being as competitive as it is, there's a huge debate about what twist rate to use for the rifles. So in the comments and in a lot of live chats as well as videos out there, uh, there's a few debates about using a faster twist rate for the 22 long rifle is inherently more accurate than the traditional 1 in 16 twist. So today's video, we're going to bust that myth, non-biased review about shooting a 1 in 16 versus a faster twist rate. So these rifles here are both rim axes, and this one here specifically in my hand is a 1 in 16 twist. The other one is a 1 in 12 twist. Now they both have the same chamber. I both uh, made these rifles on my lathe, and they're both coherently accurate. So the myth, well, we'll find out. What is more accurate at long range, and which one should you use? Stick around. So contestant number one, this is a Rimex and a 1 in 12 twist sitting inside a MDT HNT 26 carbon fiber chassis. It does have a night force scope. And this one is sporting a Luth Wather barrel, a, the Olympian barrel. So a good friend of mine, Dick, a uh, huge shout out to Dick Hedges. Appreciate uh, letting me borrow this thing and do some testing for this video. And uh, we'll be shooting some groups at 50 yards and 100 yards. So the next contestant is also a rim uh, This one is a 1 in 16 twist. Same contoured barrel. Um, this one is a 20 inch barrel. The other one was a 22. So that'd be the only difference between these two, these two builds other than the fact that the uh, twist rate is different. So this one's sitting inside a KRG Bravo chassis uh, using a burst scope. And again, we'll be putting this thing head to head at 50 yards and 100 yards. Then after that, we're going to go down range at long range, probably 300 yards, and compare wind holds. So feeding the best of the best, uh, my chamber tends to like Ely 10X. So i got a whole pack of this stuff that came in today. So the, the diet that we're going to be feeding these rifles is some good Ely 10X. All right, guys. So to make this fair, what we're going to do is basically swap rifles uh, doing five-shot groups. We're each going to shoot three five-shot groups. Um, basically, like I said, in between the five shot groups, we'll be switching rifles. So we both have loaded up with the same lot number, 15 round mags. I do have a magneto speed to um, basically see if there's any kind of discrepancy with the ammo. So I'm going to go first. This is the 1 in 12 twist. And we'll be uh, shooting with the target cam out there, the Eagle target cam. Going for the uh, second row left side. First five shots, and my son's going to spot for me. Crazy cold bore shift. Yeah. All right, that was five shots. So like I said, both these rivals are just uh, clean, so there was a cold bore um, point of impact shift. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot that rifle now on the next group. That's fine. All right, with a little bit of wind, here's the results for the 100 yard shots. So the 1 in 12 twist was all right here. That was a pretty damn good group, but then it kind of fell apart on the next five shots. So don't know what happened there. The wind was picking up a little bit. Then the 1 in 16 twist, that's the groups right there. I uh, had a weird cold bore or a uh, weird shift here and everything else seemed to pattern right here. And then uh, we got three shots here and then two up here. Again, that was the win, kind of the same scenario. So the 1 in 12 did show a better group at 100 yards. But uh, we're going to find out at longer range if possibly 
that thing, uh, the 1 in 12 twist, does hold a better wind speed. So, as you could tell, looking at these two, I didn't change zero. Uh, this one, according uh, to the shots up here, they're about a little bit left. Each one of these shots are about two tenths or a tenth left, and it pretty much held about a tenth at 100 yards. So, except for this group. Um, this one, let's see, we're about two tenths low, two tenths left, two tenths low, about a tenth left here, and about two tenths left here. And this one ended up being at 100 yards, about, I'd say, two tenths, three tenths left. So, don't know, maybe there is something to do with the faster twist rate at longer distances. We'll find out. Okay, let me show you what I've got going on here. So we got an Ipsic set up at 300 yards. So this thing zoomed in. You see a 303 is what we got going on. So we're gonna try the one in 16 twist first. And we do have a pretty good wind, as you can tell there with a the strap. I'd uh, say about a good cross uh, wind, about seven miles an hour. So be a good test to see if that one in 12 twist will hold up a little better. So what we're gonna do is put the tactical behind the rifles and what we're gonna do is look at the wind holds. Is there more wind hold with the one in 16 twist versus the one in 12 twist at this distance? Let's find out. Okay. Let's get this tactical camera. You wanna watch it? Get this tactical cam up and running. So holding one mil, huh? Mm -hmm. see dead center one mil hmm that's right that's right of it let's go to let's go one and a half actually let's go 1.8 a low Hitting it, how's the impact? That was dead center. Last shot, I think. I don't know if it hit the hook or not, but it did impact it. And now it's hitting the left side. Yep. Hitting top left over there. <laughs> Slipped off the rock. Oh, dude, you barely just nicked it. I saw it on the cam. Yeah. On the left side. The last shot here. Want to see a bullet for the tactic cam? <laughs> or the target cam? Well, that's pretty consistent. Those are two five shot groups. So, let's go check it out. Okay, so two five shot groups. I think uh, we're missing one. There's one, two, three, four, and fifth one must have been. Oh yeah, it's one way over there. So this little four shot group measures seven inches as well. And then I shot another five shots and the wind did change a little bit. And this is a nice little tight shot group. So it was one, two, three, four, and five. Going from here to here. Seven inches. Seven inches. So it is very consistent at seven inches at 300 yards and wind hold is roughly one to let's say one and a half mils uh, left that we're holding so up next is a one and 16 twist see how well that does right. that hit right on me so yeah so you're about two tenths more than me let me just do a five shot group doing that I hit low. Can you barely hit it? Yep. Oh, 
Okay, that was five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let me start aiming for the head now. That's a really tight yeah. group, right? All right, so three five-shot groups. Every single one of them hit, except for one that was just left of the target in the last five-shot group. So this one here, this is one, two, three, four, and five. This measures to be seven <laughs> inches. Huh. <laughs> How odd. Okay, so then I did another five-shot group aiming at the coat hanger here. And I got one, two, three, four. That's pretty damn tight. And then one down here, so... Including that, that is or... seven inches. Oh, you mean not that one? Yeah, well, actually, a just down. a little bit, high, a little bit shorter. So six and three quarter. Seven and a half. No, six and three quarter. So six and three quarter. Seven. Right, pull it. Barely. You're Asian. You should be on the <laughs> half Asian. You're Asian. I'm not half Asian. You're half Asian. You're quarter, quarter Asian. Asian. All right, and then the last five shot group, excluding the one which is just off the edge, uh, basically adjusted the windage and actually held about two, two mils. Yeah, two mils. I was holding two mils right here on there. Okay, so this little group here is seven inches. So it is also very consistent. Um, Ely 10X is shooting very well out of these rifles. Didn't really show that at 50 yards, but at, at 100 yards, you could definitely see that you know the groups are the same. All right, little hawk. What do you think of the rifles? Lucky number seven. Lucky number seven. So exactly as you can see here, non-biased review and basically showing the exact results, um, not beating around the bush. Both of these rifles here are both shooting seven-inch group at 300 yards in the wind, and uh, at 100 yards, uh, the one in 12 twist did show a little bit better performance, and the. Um, the one in 16 twist was right behind it. So that could have been the shooter, that could have been the wind conditions, whatnot. So let's talk a little, about, a little bit about the truth of the twist rate. Now, what I know about these Rimex builds and what I've been doing, is I built quite a bit of these so far, is that if you go with a faster twist rate, it does need the longer barrel. Now I made a few of these things in a 20 inch barrel that is a one in 14 twist as, long, as well as a one in 12 twist. And I also did make one in the one in nine. And honestly, the one in nine twist performed the worst. Now, with these faster twist rates, uh, when I went underneath 22 inches, the accuracy seemed to kind of, um, it, it was there, but it was more picky on the ammo. With that stated, it seemed to like the longer barrel. I think a lot of it was the harmonics of it. Um, now, as far as the performance, well, you guys can see it here. There is a point of diminishing returns and the one in 16 twist does prevail still a long range. Now, is there a reason to go with a faster twist rate with the, uh, say for instance, a one in 12 twist at these longer shots? Some folks are reporting less wind hold. And honestly, I, I've actually done this test already before and I don't see that. I see the one in 16 and the one in 12 performing exactly the same in wind holds. So, um, you know, it's kind of a, a myth in my opinion. And really, if you think about it, on these NRL 22 or 22X uh, uh, precision rimfire matches, there's probably only one or two stages that are reaching out to ranges like this or further. So ideally, your points that you're going to gather on these matches are going to be within 150 yards. All right, folks, so like I said, if you want to get more points and more hits on plate at these NRL 22 matches or uh, precision rimfire, it's best to work on your positional shooting at the ranges that they mostly use. So work around 100 yards, 150 yards, and work on your positional shooting. So I've got a little two-inch plate, and uh, you know, this is what me and my son do here. Impact. You cool that, son. Yep. So three hits. Stupid tripod. Stupid tripod in the way. And like I said, this is where it's at. Practice, practice, practice. 
100 yard shots. There you guys have it. So two inch plate all day long, one in 12 or one in 16. It does just as well. All right, load to make ready, shooter ready. Yep. Stand by. Beep. Three and three. No. <laughs> Remember, smooth is fast. Nope. Next position. Bolt up. Bolt up. Move. You didn't tell me how many shots was supposed to be. Say three and three. Three and three. You just You're lost. Not you just lost one ammo, so you can move down a point now. <laughs> Time. Oh. Last shot. You dropped three, sir. I got you for uh, seven. So, like I said, <laughs> practice, practice, practice.